Well, what's going on, peoples? Long time no see. Uh, enjoying a homebrew. Oh, what a week. What a week. Uh, yeah, thought I'd just throw a little something out there. Sorry, I got something on my lens, looks like. Not really, uh, didn't really plan on saying anything, but, so I'll probably, I'll probably be all over the place. Uh, just got in from my afternoon jog, uh, showered up, cleaned up, and thought I would drink a couple of beers and shoot a video, which I've not done in a while. Uh, to be honest with you, I was sicker than a dog earlier in the week. Got the old stomach bug Sunday. Felt great all weekend. Sunday afternoon, man, it hit me. It was on like a pot of neck bones. My God. From Sunday till Tuesday morning. So I missed like Monday work and a half a day Tuesday and finally struggled in to, uh, Tuesday. And then they put us on 10-hour days. So that made it even more fun. But it's all right. I can handle it. Uh, so yeah, I just went out for a jog and came in and uh, piddled around a little bit and oh uh, shit, where do I start? Uh, yeah, I had a CO2. Remember, uh, not too long ago, I had a my CO2 tank had a leak and uh, I lost my CO2. Almost a fresh tank and um, I was bitching because it cost me 42 bucks to fill it up. Well, my tank ran out again. Came home. I think it was Friday, last Friday. I came down here to pour a beer and nothing. Uh, looked and my old gauge was on zilch. So what do you do? I actually had enough pressure to pour, you know, several beers. But uh, I wasn't worried, as worried about the CO2 because I had found, I don't even know if I've mentioned it or not, since that uh, price gouging that I experienced for $42 I set out to find something different, and uh, the place where I was getting my CO2 was a uh, <clears throat> an army surplus store that filled uh, paintball guns, so I don't know if they really, it seemed like every time I went in there it was different, I think the first time I went in there, I swear I think it was like 20, a little over 20 bucks, but I don't know, I'm like I say, I think that they got, uh, me, and, me and another guy here in town, I think is probably the only two that brew beer and probably have big CO2 tanks to go fill up like that and I don't know if they figured that out and was like hey we're gonna make them pay and they did for a little bit but that's over um, I found a place I got to reading online and somebody said to find a, if you had a place that filled fire, extin fire extinguishers that they would probably be able to do it and lo and behold we did have one I knew I did but I didn't think about them being able to fill CO2 tanks so called them up and they did and so I got this last 10 pounder filled for 18 bucks so I was pleased with that. So I was uh, just making sure tonight that I don't have a leak. Uh, and what it was, I'm pretty sure, if you can even see this, where I had moved, <coughs> moved some kegs around and stuff and uh, had twisted some of these connectors around. This uh, keg right here didn't have any pressure on it, so I pretty much knew it was the culprit. And where I had twisted these connectors around, I guess, moving everything around in here, this nut had gotten a little loose right here. So, little tip for you. Keep a check on your nuts. Uh, yeah, my nut was loose, believe it or not. And uh, so right now I'm full up, and hopefully I won't come here tomorrow after work and uh, be empty again. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I tightened all of them up while I was at it. And I got three beers on tap, and I still got that Arrogant Bastard clone that's not the Arrogant Bastard clone, if y'all remember. And I, you know, that competition Saturday, I sent that beer in as an Imperial Stout. And then these uh, other two beers, uh, I'll get this close. This one beer is the, uh, what is that beer? Spill Milk IPA that I, I've done a few times. That I mix, uh, kind of changed it up this time, and it's a little different. I, don't, I really don't like it this time. It's all right, but it's I like it the other way, the other recipe uh, we did, and then this and this is a a ten gallon batch I did split uh, with some different hops. It's actually my frozen toes uh, recipe that I love so much that I make uh, quite a bit. I may have mentioned this before in a video. I don't know. I can never remember what I say and what I don't say. Do you have that problem? Uh, but yeah, I just did something hops crazy, crazy on the hops. Uh, it's it's that continued hop beer. Uh, I think I ended up 
dry hopping it one five gallons with Chinook and one five gallons with uh, Cascade and then I dry hopped it up both of them again with two ounces of whole Simcoe yeah and I'm liking I'm not liking the Chinook first dry hop as good as I am the Cascade first dry hop so note to self Oh, that's my two, uh, my two, my new tap panel that my daughter got me for Christmas. And if I'm going to drink a, a Pilsner, that'll be the one I drink. Is the Victory Prima Pils. That's an awesome beer. It's got a little bite to it, and I like it like that. But yeah, uh, man, I got, I do have to get to brewing. It's, um, you know, I told you in my little catch-up video, it's been a while. Yeah, you know, it's been, seems like it's been forever. I don't know when the last time I brewed was, but. I do have plenty of beer on hand, but I know it's getting to that point um, to where I'm going to have to get my butt in gear and brew. And like I say, I can brew myself 10 gallons now. It'll be good for a long time because I ain't splitting it and all that good stuff. Um, but I'm sitting here looking at my mess. I can't believe the mess that I accumulate in my basement. And this, this is my brewing area. Y'all see my brewing area. You know, my grains, my brewing equipment and everything. And over here on my bench is where I usually do everything. Look what I've... Since my new hobby, which there's my metal detector, my Garrett, and I've been doing a lot of a lot of free time that I've had. I've went out metal detecting on weekends and the evenings. Uh, it's a cool hobby, something a little different. Like I say, we well, talked about it a little bit, but look at the crap I've accumulated on my bench here, other than my bottles and stuff. But got my new digger tool in. But uh, all this crap, I've got it straight everywhere on this bench. I found old Maxbox cars. Plowing tools, uh, logging tools. That's my little um, Pinpointer Pro, Garrett Pinpointer Pro. Let's help you pinpoint your uh, dig a little closer so you don't have to dig such a big hole. That's, that's worth its weight in gold right there. Yeah, you find all kinds of good stuff. Pull tab, bottle tops, and all that. But you know what? You got to dig these to find the good stuff, like uh, the little rings I found. That's, that's a cheapo kids ring I think but to be able to find like gold wedding bands and stuff you gotta you gotta pull out the pull tabs because you don't never know I found all kinds of crap man it's ridiculous what you find in the ground I found this today out my backyard when I came home from jogging I went out there and it was a, it's an old watch part of an old watch in my yard I actually found this in my yard well, my yard used to be a uh, cornfield but yeah I gotta clean all this mess up I've got crap that boy that's the silver and stuff I found oh nice mess I gotta get this mess cleaned up and get these wheat pennies all sorted out from the, the silver that I found sorted out and all that blah 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 I know that's really interesting to you but most of my stuff's usually about beer it's a little weird for me to talk about something else but ain't much beer stuff going on um, what else was I gonna say let me gather my thoughts while I pour a beer so yeah uh, that's really about it, man. There ain't really much going on other than the, what I was just said, unless I just don't remember. Uh, I mean, I'm just looking around at my junk pile. I gotta get my butt in gear and clean up. Uh, dang, it's like I was gonna tell you something else, but I don't know. Uh, I do have a, a, a special kind of video I, I need to do. I was gonna do it tonight, but just wasn't in the mood for it. But I got something I really want to put out there. Uh, I may do it after this uh, after this video. I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I really can't think of it. So, or I can't think of anything else. Anyway, appreciate you coming by my YouTube channel as always. Appreciate the comments, questions, likes, dislikes, whatever you throw at me. I don't really care. And. Uh, <laughs> For the new uh, king of king of rants hockey player, been throwing some rants out there lately. Man, angry. Steven, you're angry, man. What's up with? <laughs> I, I do. I am glad that you survived. I was looking forward to all that music uh, to be added to my collection, but you know it can wait, man. I, I'm I'm really glad that you made it through your surgery. Uh, or your test and surgery. I think it was surgery. 
I'm telling you, man, it's been busy and crazy, and I'm sick. And I've been metal detecting, so just give me a little break, everybody. I'll get back in the swing. But, um, yeah, you, uh, you had a rant going on in your last video, so you mentioned something that, that's uh, near and dear to my heart. So, appreciate y'all coming by the channel. Uh, I'm sure this won't get banned, hockey player, but if it does, we'll go from there. But 